When you f up, guess who gets to take the brood of it? Me. Because I hired you. I get to fire you too. So we are on a camping trip in northern Indiana. So we tried on the tire, it came off. So that's great. Woo, I got it. I got it. Yeah. We are four new tires. Uh, At least my back doesn't look like that. That's right. true. All right, guys. So how about we get that car fixed? Morning. Are you dropping off? Yeah. What's your name? Lucas Rogers. Okay. Sorry, we're trying to figure out where her stuff is. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. So I'm gonna have you sign here and here. This just says it's okay for us to repair your vehicle, and this says it's okay for us to build for the repair. Okay, yeah. So if you don't mind to sign that for mm, me. Okay. Thank you. Thank and then, you. of course, we'll just need your key. Yep. Okay. We're good to go. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go. So, yeah, October 12th, 2021, finally getting the car in oh for repairs. God. Dropping it off. Don't know when I'll see it next, but looks like we are going back to the Mustang for a few days. Um, Welcome to hell. Yeah, I guess I'm heading back to the house uh, and get my stuff for work. And then I'm gonna take the Mustang to work, I guess. That should be fun. I would just say it was not fun at all because it was the first time that thing had been driven in I don't know how long, but because of that, it was shaking a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like I thought that car was gonna break down on the interstate while I was in like the middle lane. So it was actually kind of terrifying. Man, I, I, I forgot how much, I forgot how this car drives exactly. Uh, I, I, I haven't driven it in like it's been like three years. The, the repair shop, they, they, they call me and they say that they found something else wrong with it. They had to call. And we got Zach. Yeah, he just got home. Um, yeah, so they found something wrong with the car. Something else wrong with the car. Aside from, you know. So the tread on the tire came off. The obvious. They told about it and it was like, hold everything. We're going to take a look at it ourselves and we'll tell you what to do. I guess that means I'm back in this thing for a bit longer now and. <sighs> I mean, I knew I'd be in this thing for a, about a week maybe, but um, the shop said that um, it's not super common, but it's also not rare for this to happen. And. Whenever this happens, it can drag things out by a bit. Okay, so it finally happened. Um, well, let me be specific here. Um, so it's back on the repair table um, after like a week. Um, yeah, my car's just been sitting in a garage, dismantled, just screaming out of pain and all that, all that fun stuff, you know, in pieces, you know. But yeah, any day now, the Silver Bullet should be back in operating condition. Yes, I did name my car the Silver Bullet. What you said last night when, uh, when you saw that first episode. Because I was watching your f***ing film, like the first one, and you were literally just going. And I got, I don't have motion sickness, but I got so sick. And I was like, okay, you need a f***ing gimbal. Like, there, you need she, a stabilizer. She just texted me. She just, she, she just texted me saying, like, like okay, you're going to... Or a rig. She, yeah. Yeah. I have one of those, stabilizer. and I tried it out, and it just... It's She's, like, unpacking the car, and the camera's just going like this. And I'm like... Ugh. 
good good footage, but like it's literally just going like yeah. this the whole time. Yeah. And I was like, oh my head. god. I yeah. So you at least need to be stable, holding it. Yeah, you need a heavier camera and just use your shoulder right now. Yeah. This, hold this it like in camera. place so and move really with yeah. it so, like a robot. And it's the one that I feel confident vlogging with. For the camping trip, I did have the camera on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it on me right now? That's right. Yeah. So from camp trip, I did have it on me, okay? Like, but the DSLR, I was looking back at the footage. I'm like, F that's not, not all that's in con. Same. There you go. Hire someone. Mm -hmm. Pay them. Yeah, see. Pay them a little bit. Pay your siblings. Uh, Bye, everyone. <laughs> Get some interns. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like, how, just like how we met. So, uh, so yeah, these two are. It's a modern day slave. Just so you all know, these two are the probably the only, the most qualified people I know to actually hold any of my equipment. Because everyone else you've seen hold 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 my. Garbage. Yeah, like. <laughs> you get some new equipment. It's just it's, uh, yeah. it's your fault, not their fault. Always your fault. No matter what. Look, look, right, right, look right, right, I'm just going to blame you. Okay, I'm just going to blame you. <laughs> I blame you, bro. <laughs> You're all <laughs> f***ed up. <laughs> when you f*** up, guess who gets to take the brood of it? Me. Because I hired you. I get to fire you, too. By the way, while we're on camera. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wrong one. Yep, okay. That's the point where I questioned everything at that moment. Like, where the hell am I going? Yeah, so we be in the car with, with the one, the only Mariah. Well, yeah, there's other Mariahs, but, you know, uh, we're, we're the only one of this. The only one of, of me, yeah. specifically. So this is my buddy, Mariah. Uh, so we work together. Um, we initially met as interns. Um, yep. We were making a documentary on literally the world's worst football team. <laughs> the um, world's worst arena football team. We never saw a win of the team that we were filming. Not even in practice. And that, remember that first game? That was a 31 point game and we lost. Yep. That's bad. It's terrible. I, I'm not even a sports person. I can, I can tell you that. But to give some context, to context, we were interviewing for um, another team of PAs because we were starting a project that would require more hands on deck. Lucas walked in with three, four other people. Bradley, our DP, took one of our editors out of the room to interview him separately and left me to interview all the potential BAs alone. Lucas was one of them. And I think you and I were the only people that actually had a conversation that day. I think the rest of them were kind of... Yeah, I don't know if they familiar. were. I don't know if they were like nervous or... Um, just kind of didn't know what was going on, if it was their first time being on a set or whatever, but this guy ended up being the only PA out of that interview process to either A, get hired as an intern, and B, get hired on to production full time. So, this is my first little baby. <laughs> <laughs> but, honestly, we didn't even know the extent of your talent until you started you actually got hired on full time on the production side, sitting next to me at the desk. Well, like editing. When I first started, I was still an intern. It was just that we were done with the documentary. Bro, we f***ing first took off and, I, and it would not go up. <laughs> we went off the ledge with it and I could not get any altitude. So this is the point in our drive back to my place where we sit in the car and we talk for half an hour. Oh yeah, I forgot, I, go to I, forgot to, I forgot to say. Yeah, I, I give a ride home from work. Um, it was like a week or two ago, like you were saying, um, you're gonna miss this car when I, I really get- I really will miss this car. I won't. I will <laughs> not miss this car. Also to, to provide some context, Lucas is much younger than I am. So whenever I was a young lass, my first dream car was a Mustang. It was a GT, a GT500, which is an older model, but I would have settled for. Yeah, this is a 2001. A 90s to 2000s model. Because, yeah. like, I mean, I was obsessed with Mustangs. And, you know, all sports cars are muscle cars. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I really got to go. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Gotta okay, let's, let's marry everyone. Okay. Bye, Lucas. It was Bye. great, great this, vlogging with you today. Thank, thank you for including me. Yeah. All so, right. yeah. Yeah. Well, see you soon. Adios. Bye. Bye. 
Guys, today is the day. The car's ready. So the shop just now called me. I just now paid for it over the phone. I have to go get it. Um, it was interesting driving this thing again. Um, but I'm ready to go back to the Civic. I missed it. You ready? Oh yeah. Okay. You, so Zach, you remember, you remember what the car looked like before? Um, heck, you were there in the moment. And you're the one who changed the tire, which I appreciate. But uh, let's get it. Let's get, let's see, let's see it fixed. Full circle. Full circle. Are we going to the place on Zoten? Uh, I will, I will, I will drag you there. Is it on Old Zoten? No, it's, uh, I think, I think Bell's Mill. Okay, so it's coming out. This is a dense thing. It's on, it's on Rogers Lane. So it's, it's, uh, it's Rogers Road or something. here? No, 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 it's, uh, it's Rogers Road. So we're coming up on it. This one. Thanks for the nice heads up. Okay, about to see it. There it is. It's, it's there. It's there. Thanks for telling me the parking lot as well, Lucas, with a nice heads up. There it is. Okay. Did they clean it? Oh. oh. I think they cleaned it. I think they repainted it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They did repaint it, actually. Because it was scratched up above that bumper too so they had to repaint the whole thing yeah they did you know actually no it does yeah i do see that actually not the handle though they missed that handle well, it's not. Yeah, so ah there it is what wait a sec i was just asking if i was good to leave oh yeah yeah you're good okay Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. They, they clean, they vacuumed the interior. They totally cleaned this car. Yeah, yeah, you can see like the smear marks here. But oh my, they really, I am fully impressed right now. Uh, they really did a great job. They did extra work too. Like, I wasn't expecting them to actually clean the car. Obviously, I'm happy with their work right now. Um, yeah. Um, well, this is me, guys. Um, happy as can be. So, um, yeah, this is me signing out. Wow, well, okay. Um, looks like you all made it to the end. So, I guess that means you enjoyed it. So, check out these videos here. I don't know what videos they are it's whatever the algorithm says is best for you so that's what's best for you that's what's best for you be sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell at the bottom so you can stay up to date with future content and so that i can see you on the next time